Hi there and welcome. I'm Cheryl and this is Your Journey Yoga. It's always an honor to have you with me today. We are going to do a pre or post leg workout. So whether it be running, weightlifting, whatever it is where you've worked your lower body and you've worked it fairly hard, um, always good to either get it warmed up with some dynamic stretches or just stretched out so that you're um, getting rid of some of that lactic acid um, and just helping in recovery. So um, flexibility, mobility, always good and recovery is always a bonus. So great job on your hard work that you've put in and let's get it stretched out or get you ready for that work. Um, so starting, let's start kind of wide and I just want you to do little squats. Okay, so just little skumo squats. Doesn't matter what your hands are doing. Your hands can be at heart center. You can move them along. If you like, you can rest them on your hips. So not a big deal. And we're not going gangbusters, guys. We're just starting to get some mobility through those hips, warming up through those inner thighs, getting those buns happy and ready or releasing. Let's go two more. And then we're going to heel toe those feet open just a little bit wider, get a little bit more dynamic, and we're going to lean to the left and tap. Come back through to center if you like, hands at heart center. Otherwise, you can have those hands on your hips and tap. So whatever feels right to you. We're just going side to side, keeping those core muscles engaged, starting to warm up a little bit more, firing up some of those bigger muscles. Now this time we're going to hold it, and we're going to rotate and reach, left arm up. Come back through to center, stand tall, make sure those core muscles are strong and engaged. Lean to the right, left hand down, right arm up. Core strong, we come back through center, same thing one more time. Bend that left knee, right hand down, left arm reaches. Now you can set your hand on the top of your shoe. So if you're outside and you don't wanna put your hand on the ground, just set your hand on the top of the foot to those shoelaces. A little more balance, a little more stability. Back to those bigger squats, big sumo squat. Working into those hips, firing up inner thighs, getting those buns warmed up. And again, doesn't matter where those hands are. We're going to take it low, we're going to hold it low, and we're going to just slide side to side. So we want that stance to be wide enough that our knee's not going to go too far over those toes. And we're going to, you can always back it off and just not slide quite so far. But we're working to get that full extension of the straight leg. Good. One more each side. Once more to the right. And then we come back through center. Place those hands to the insides of the knees. And as you exhale, press it out and away. Look out over the opposite shoulder. Inhale, come back through to center. And exhale, press that knee out and away. Turn and look out over the opposite shoulder. We're going to do that one more time each side. Keep that core strong. Breathe. Once more. Just feels so great. Through those hips, through the inner thigh, into that lower back. Coming back through to center. Pull that pelvis through. Hands to heart center. Straighten those legs and heel toe those feet in. Standing tall. I'm going to turn sideways just so it's a little easier to see. We shift our weight to that left foot. Right heel kicks out. Left hand to the top of that right thigh. Bend the left knee. Reach down with the right hand. Square the pelvis. Lengthen that right leg. And breathe. Hold in. Breathe in. Inhale, circle that right arm up. And around, we pull that right foot back, bending the right knee, taking a hold along the inside or the outside of your foot. Left arm can extend out in front for balance or overhead. Breathe, drawing those knees side by side, keeping that right heel right in line with that right glute. We release that hand, crossing the right ankle over the left knee, hands to heart center, and roll that right knee open and begin to sit it back. So this is a pretty quick stretch, guys, but it's going to get all of it, all different parts of the legs, into the hips, the groin, hinging forward, sweep those arms back, work in stability. We pull those hands back to heart center and we rise. Releasing that right foot down, shift your weight to that right foot. Left heel kicks forward, right hand to the top of the thigh. We bend that right knee, reach that left hand down towards those left toes. Square the pelvis. 
Those left toes pointing straight ahead. Long stretch on the back of that left leg. We hold and breathe. So we're firing up those quadriceps on that right leg. We're lengthening those hamstrings and calves on that left leg. We reach out with that left hand, circle it around, stand tall. We circle that left arm back, kick that left foot up, take a hold along the inside or the outside of the foot, whichever feels better to you. By taking a hold of the inside, opening up to the chest and the shoulder. Arm, right arm can be extended out or up overhead. You can have that hand wherever you like it, whatever feels good to you. We draw those knees side by side. Again, we keep that left heel just directly in line with that left glute. We're lifting out of that pelvis, so staying strong. Gently releasing that left, crossing the left ankle up and over the right knee, hands to heart center, and roll that left knee open to your figure four. We begin to sit it back. Firing up that right quadricep. Oof, getting into that left hip, left glute. If it feels good to you, hinge forward. Roll those shoulders back. Breathe. We rise, pulling those hands to heart center. Slowly standing tall. Releasing both feet, evening out that weight distribution, reach to the sky. As you exhale, arch it back, uh, just stretching all the way down the front of the body. Inhale it up tall and exhale, swan dive down. You can rest your hands to the front of the shins, the thighs, the shoelaces, the tops of your feet. A little shift of your weight forward into your toes and then back towards your heels into your toes and heels. Center your weight. Release your hands, fingertips to the floor, heel toe your feet out just once. Feet are still parallel. Once again, bringing a hold, you can take a hold anywhere along the legs, the ankle or the tops of the feet. These are bootstrap squats. We're going to slowly lower your bottom down as you bend the knees. You can come as low as you like into a little squat or if you need to stay up a little bit, you can keep that bottom a little higher. And then exhale, press through your heels and begin to extend those legs. So really, we are working to get that body prepared for that lower body workout or help it to recover from that lower body workout, whatever that may have been. So whether you're a runner, a skier, a skateboarder, whatever it is, working and taxing that lower body, we want to give it time to repair or time to prepare. One more time. Bring the hands behind the legs. Take a hold anywhere you like and pull that upper body towards the space between the legs. Releasing that intensity and then rolling it up, ragdoll in your way, all the way back up to standing tall. A big shoulder roll, shoulders slide down and away. Do that again, big shoulder roll. And shoulders slide down and away. Heel toe those feet in. Shift your weight to your left foot, right knee comes in, hands to the shin, just below your knee, and I want you to point and flex that right foot, rolling the ankle. Make sure you get both directions. Mobility for that right ankle, stability for the left, a little love for the hip flexors, a little stretch for the glutes, and gently place that right foot down. Shift your weight to the right foot, left knee lifts, hands to the shin, pull it in. Point and flex the foot. Roll the ankle. Make sure you get both directions. Nice tall posture. Shoulders rolled back. And gently release. Arms out to a T. Hip rolls in to out. Let's do five on each side. So just crossing across, opening it up two more times. Little pops and cracks, yeah, that's pretty normal. Just make sure there's no pain, that's not normal. 
and go ahead and set that right foot down, left knee up and open into out hip rolls. So again, stability on that supporting leg, mobility for that left hip on that moving leg. Core strength, last one, set it down, arms open out to a T, shift that weight back to your left foot, now out to in. Start open and close it, open it and close it. Giving those hips loads of love. Getting stronger with our stability, better balance, that's key guys, keeping us healthy and strong. Go ahead and place that right foot down, out to in with the left. Almost done. You're going to feel those glutes in both the supporting and that moving leg. One more and set it down. Let's relax those arms. Open out nice and wide. Not super wide. We're just going to swing side to side. Coming up onto the ball of that foot, the opposite foot from where you're twisting. Ah. Oh. Well, I hope you feel amazing and you're either ready to start working or you feel like, wow, I just did a lot of good for me after all that hard work I just put in. I thank you for joining me. Take care of yourself. I hope you'll tune in time and time again and just explore the channel. There's a ton of good stuff on here, you guys. I just wish you well. Take care. And until the next time, namaste.